everything I say in this video are my own thoughts and opinions, you should look into the information for yourselves. Any photos or articles used have been pulled from the public domain or from social media, and I'm using them under the Fair Use and Fair Dealings guidelines. Hello everybody, it's the Dutch Ass and Monty Shit Show here. I hope you're all doing well today and had a fantastic weekend. I hope you also had a wonderful Mother's Day yesterday to those who celebrated it. A big hi, hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining this channel. Please do like and share amongst your friends so that they can join too if they wish. Please take some time also to look back through some of my previous videos. Give them a like, give them a share. Maybe leave some comments, interact with the other members of this community. They're a great bunch and if you have any problems, just make a comment and I'm sure somebody will be only too pleased to help you. I'm afraid I don't have time to reply to much of the comments, but I do try and read as many as I can. So, in a change to my normal content on this channel, which is talking about the royal family and the Sharkles, I'd like to move away just for a while to talk about what happened overnight at the Oscars involving Chris Rock and Will Smith. Now, the first I'd heard of any incident was at 7 o'clock this morning when I woke up. I checked my phone like I normally do to find a text waiting there from my dad to say you'd better get your backside onto Google and look at the news because there's been an incident at the Oscars overnight. And when he said incident, my first thought was that maybe there had been a medical episode with one of the actors or actresses or perhaps there had been a protest or something along those lines. But never once did I expect to read that one grown man had slapped another man. <laughs> I have to confess to not being a particularly huge film buff, so although I'm perfectly aware of who Will Smith is, I haven't seen very many of his films, and I know even less about Chris Rock, although I do know that he is a comedian. For those that aren't aware of the situation, last night was the annual Oscars ceremony, 94th Academy Awards no less. A comedian was hired to host the event. Now, I have absolutely no problem with comedians, nor do I have a problem with comedians hosting events. Indeed, here in England, we often have comedians to host our Brit Music Awards and our BAFTA Film and Television Awards. Ricky Gervais being a classic example. The problem I do have is that comedy these days simply isn't funny. Uh, back in the Back in the olden day, the olden days, um, you know, the 70s, the 80s, jokes weren't personal. They were a little bit near the knuckle, but in a very cheeky way. But the problem is comedy, in inverted commas, has now evolved to such an extent where comedians feel they have to make personal jibes. They have to make personal digs at people in order to stay relevant. They have to, any bandwagons like the Black Lives Matter, like the Me Too movement, you know, jokes about the royal family, jokes about just, comedi you know, other comedians, actors. It's just not funny anymore. Or personally, I don't think it's funny. I think it's it's very sad. It's a very sad way to make a living if you have to pick on people's personalities, pick on their appearance. But, you know, that's why I'm not a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't make money as a comedian, because I'm just I don't have that mindset where I prefer to make money out of other people's shortcomings or out of other people's tragedies, whichever way you want to look at it. So here's the clip of the incident in its entirety. I've taken care to try and blot out all the offensive words where possible. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. The Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. 
That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. So what was it all about then? What could have possibly made Will Smith get up onto that stage and smack the living daylights out of Chris Rock? I'm trying not to laugh, but it's just so pathetic. One grown man smacking another live on TV. But if you take last night's incident out of the equation for just a second, if you do your research, which I had to do, it seems that there has been some previous beef between these two men going right back to 2016, where... Will Smith uh, tweeted or put a post out on social media wishing a happy birthday to his ex-wife and to which Chris Rock commented something along the lines of, oh, you must have a very understanding wife, um, meaning Jada Pinkett Smith. Was that necessary? No. Was it the worst thing he could have said? No. I mean, it's really a case of if you haven't got anything nice to say, don't say it. But this is life. This, these are humans. People don't always behave in the way that you necessarily would. And you have two choices to either ignore it or to call it out and move on. OK, so I think it's fair to say some of the research that I've seen, I think it's fair to say that over the years, Chris Rock has had little digs, sly digs at Jada Pinkett Smith, Will Smith, maybe even a couple of digs at the kids. I think they've got um, Jaden and Willow as well. You know, and they've done their best to smile, laugh it off, smile, you know, move on, be dignified, take it on the chin and be dignified. He's a comedian. He's going to take pot shots, you know. But obviously last night, something changed something snapped and will smith lost his cool it was he justified i don't know let's let's go on a bit more and uh, see what you think so the incident that happened last night if you haven't seen it chris rock made a joke um what i would perceive to be a, a really cruel joke a crude joke about will smith's wife jada pinkett smith who happened to be in the audience and he drew attention to her shaved head. Now, until last night, I have to admit, I did not know she had alopecia. I don't follow the American gossip columns. I don't really... I used to read the National Enquirer every now and again, but at no point had I ever seen that she had A, a shaved head, or B, that she had alopecia, which is a really debilitating medical condition. So Chris Rock drew attention to it and he made a joke about how he couldn't wait to see her in G.I. Jane 2, which, so far as what he could have said, was it the worst thing to say? No. But however, you cannot, as I said earlier, you cannot make a living. It's not ethical, in my opinion, to make a living pointing out somebody's personal appearance or especially picking up on a medical condition which you have no control over. Now, I can tell you, I have a, a form of arthritis. Many of you will know this. I have a form of arthritis. And some of the medication I have to take is chemotherapy tablets. And although they are not very high dosage, it still is chemotherapy tablets. So I've had some, and I continue to have some degree of hair loss, Sometimes my hair will fall out. Sometimes my eyelashes will fall out. I've had an occasion last year where my eyebrows started disappearing. Um, and I can tell you now, I mean, it's obviously not the same as alopecia. I do have a, a pretty good head of hair left, but it has been shedding. And it's, I can tell you, it's the worst thing ever. When I was told last year that I would need to go on chemotherapy, I was warned I would lose my fertility system. I was warned I would, I would lose my immunity, my um, immune system. And I was told I'd be sick, I'd be tired, I'd be grouchy. You know, all of that, it was a lot to take in. And when I thought about it, I, I was okay with that. You know, I've, I've had three children. My youngest is now 11. I'm, I've been long time single for nearly 10 years nobody on the horizon so I thought you know my my fertility yeah okay I'm I'm coming up 41 I'll be 41 on Wednesday actually 
So I'm okay with losing that. That's fine. My immune system, no, not great, but I can deal with it. There are things that I can take, supplements I can take, vitamins, not a big problem. But then my hair started falling out and that was the worst thing ever. I remember last year when within a week of starting chemotherapy, my hair started falling out in in great chunks. And I remember driving to the local pharmacy with my teenager and I was in tears and I was begging the pharmacist to do anything, just help, you know, help me do anything, please save my hair. And I think I must have gone to three or four different pharmacists and each one turned around and told me, we cannot do anything for you because the medication you are taking is a very specific chemotherapy. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can give you to stop it. You're just going to have to go home and deal with it. Buy a wig, buy a scarf, buy a hat, do whatever you have to do, but you're on your own. And I have to tell you, the losing your hair, whether it's through chemo, whether it's through alopecia, it's a very real thing. For those that go through it, it's a very real thing. And it's an awful thing to go through behind the scenes. You you may go out and put a put your best smile on, but it, it really does it gives you a huge amount of anxiety. It gives you a, a huge amount of paranoia that you're being stared at, you're being talked about, and the worst thing is that you're being pitied. We don't want pity. You know, we want our hair but we want our hair back. <laughs> you know? We don't want your pity. Thank you, thank you, but no thanks. Um, the loss of confidence is enormous. Um, so I can only imagine, I mean, I I have some, some, um, sympathy for Jada Pinkett Smith, because at least I still have some hair and it's the, the hair that I have lost. You can see it is starting to grow back, but with alopecia, there is no definitive time limit for when it will grow back. Sometimes it never does grow back. Sometimes it can be years. So I completely support her decision for shaving her hair. It's something that I last year certainly considered myself. By some miracle, I didn't need to. I still have a a fairly decent head of hair left, but I completely support her and understand her decision for doing what she did. Yeah, so I think Jada said in a podcast um, a couple of years ago that Chris Rock had been throwing shade, you know, at him, at Will Smith and Jada and the kids. So I think he knew what he was doing by joking about her her boldness. I absolutely think he knew what he was doing. He took that risk. Um, He was most definitely wrong to joke about this debilitating medical condition you know over which he's got absolutely no control um but was was it right that Will Smith went up and smacked him no I don't think so I I don't think two wrongs make a right I think Will Smith I mean he actually when the joke was made the camera panned to Will Smith and Jada and they were both laughing now I think Jada was laughing I don't think she was laughing I think she was smile you know smiling and toughing it out and because she she would have been aware that the cameras would would probably be on her so she was taking it in good humor taking it being very dignified whereas um will smith obviously the red mist descended and he felt he had to call out the behavior my problem necessarily isn't what will smith did but how he did it and when and where he chose to do it there would have been absolutely no shame in my mind for Will Smith to take him aside during the commercial breaks or after the Oscars had finished um, being televised and you know saying man that wasn't cool that was so uncool you owe me and my wife an apology yeah absolutely and then then if they wanted to slug it out then you know not great but fair enough but to do it in front of a global audience no i don't i don't think i don't agree with that um i think will smith is in danger of looking like a bully actually i obviously i don't know the man i don't know i don't think to my mind i don't know if there's been any other 
incidents where he's been physically aggressive. I, I can't put my name to that. I don't know. But, yeah, I, I don't think what he did was r right by any stretch. Um, what made it worse for me, actually, is a little bit later on in the ceremony, Will Smith won an Oscar for, I think it was uh, King Richard. He was best lead actor in King Richard. I have an issue there because a few years ago, Russell Crowe, correct me if I'm wrong, but Russell Crowe was denied his Oscar because there had been an incident of him throwing a phone at a staff member or somebody, somebody in his inner circle. But yet last night, right on the top of Will Smith decking Chris Rock, the industry still went ahead and gave him his Oscar. And then he delivered this tearful speech in how he apologised to the Oscars, he apologised to his other, the fellow nominees in the category, but he didn't apologise to Chris Rock. I'm not saying he has to. If you don't want to apologise, you don't apologise. But it felt to me, although, you know, tears, t tears are tears, but to me, they felt a little bit crocodile tears because he mentioned in his speech, he hoped he'd be invited back to the Oscars. So on that basis alone, I'm a little bit suspicious. I think he's really trying to do a bit of damage limitation, trying to salvage his brand. I mean, imagine something that my friend did point out over breakfast as well. I mean, imagine it, that had been a man slapping a woman or even worse in today's climate where, you know, race is a very hot topic right now. And it really doesn't take much for that pot to boil over. If you just take last week's royal tour of the Caribbean, for example, you know, race is like a really sensitive subject last night. Imagine if last night that had been a white man slapping a black man. Can you imagine the absolute crap and the uproar that would be in the media today about that? And, you know, everyone would have come out of their their little uh, cubbies, you know, and have an opinion on this. And I'm talking about Dr. Shola. <laughs> she definitely have an opinion, you know, and... I'm trying to put into words how what I think about this. I think in a nutshell, was Chris Rock right to do what he did? No, I don't think he was right. Ab absolutely. He's a comedian. He was hired to be sense, you know, to be sensational, to sh maybe to shock. He wasn't hired to offend. And I think he overstepped the mark when he made a remark about Jada's hair. So he was wrong for that. Was it the worst thing he could have said? No, still, it doesn't matter. No, he should not have said what he said. Will Smith, should he have done what he did? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There are, there are times for violence. And when I say times for violence, I mean absolutely in a life-threatening emergency. If you're under threat, if the only option is violence, then perhaps... Should he have done what he did? Absolutely not. Especially when it's a live televised event. No, he should not have done that. He was sticking up for his wife. And as he said in his speech himself, love makes you do crazy things. Well, considering that, <laughs> considering that Jada cheated on him and then, you know, kind of made Will go on telly to discuss it, which must have been absolutely humiliating for him. But he's, for whatever reason, he's decided to forgive her, I guess, and remain in the marriage. That's down to them. That's not my business. You know, if he loves the girl and he's standing up for her, good for him. You know, show your wife some loyalty. I cannot take that away from you. Crack on. <laughs> but no, he should not have done what he did. Um, I think... Actual fact, I think Jada, for me, Jada was the star of the night because not only did she have an extremely embarrassing and humiliating medical condition made fun of, she sat there throughout all with dignity. She did. She had every right to get up and give him a bit of a mouthful, but she didn't. She stayed calm and in 
inside she must have been absolutely horrified she must have been seething but she didn't let it get the better of her whereas will i think went too far and he made his feelings known in probably the most worst possible way at the worst possible time but at the same time the guy's human it's hard to it's hard to it's very easy for me to sit here and say this is what I do in that situation but until I'm in that situation I can't really say how I would behave I do know from experience I'm a very calm person I'm a very placid person but I do know from experience that if people make fun of my family my children my friends yeah I, I do tend to turn I do tend to not in a violent way but I I do get very mouthy (laughs) and I do call out the behavior and I do let people know that it's unacceptable because if you don't let them know it's unacceptable they'll think that's a green light for them to do it again and again and again and then eventually when you do turn around and say actually (laughs) that's not cool they they sit and wonder why you've only take you've only taken till now to call it out if you call it out and nip it in the bud from the very beginning then everyone knows where they stand and hopefully that person that instigator will not make that mistake again i think will smith missed a golden opportunity here whilst he stood at the podium collecting his oscar and delivering his speech and bursting into tears and apologizing to literally everyone bar the person he hit you have to remember he people children a young generation do look up to him they do see him as a role model so on that basis alone he should have used that platform whilst he had that few minutes live around the globe he should have used those few minutes to a reinforce the message that violence is not cool and violence is not the way to sort out issues the issues could have been sorted out by two men you know with an intermediary in the middle and just two men laying down their issues and then see if they can resolve them amicably without violence needing to be used. Not only that, I think he missed a golden opportunity. He could have used that platform to raise awareness of alopecia and the prejudices surrounding it. And I think that would have helped Jada more, to be honest, than sitting there and watching her husband defending her honour you know quite rightly but defending her honour and going up and making an absolute fool of himself by thwacking (laughs) another man grown-up man live on television so yeah I have to say wrapping this up I have to think my absolute star for the night is Jada Pinkett Smith I loved her anyway um I'm a huge fan of the Matrix trilogy so for me she will always be my Captain Niobe (laughs) um but yeah, I, th- I think she was the one last night that behaved with dignity. And I hope, for her sake, I hope the Oscars do allow them back. But I think, as far as I gather, there are no um, l- there are no lawsuits. Chris Rock will not be filing a lawsuit against Will Smith. Whether they've um, kissed and made up backstage, who knows? Um, I th- something actually before I go, I find it. Um, also fascinating a friend of mine my friend said that it was interesting how during the um, commercial break how Denzel Washington and Tyler Perry went to comfort Will Smith but who comforted Chris Rock so yeah that's something to bear in mind as well I mean I don't think Chris Rock was in view on the commercial break I think he'd gone backstage so it's quite possible that someone had gone to see him and give him a a, a little bit of a talking to a little bit of a telling off but who knows anyway I'd love to know what you think I've rambled on a bit too much I think but I'd love to know your points of view do you think it was staged or do you think it wasn't who do you think's in the right and who do you think's in the wrong do you think Chris Rock was only doing his job by making the joke about um Jada's hair do you think Will Smith should have just laughed it off um, and just taken him on one side at the end of the ceremony and said you know hey man that's not cool give it a rest Um, or do you think he was perfectly entitled to (laughs) go up and give him a bit of a smackdown 
I would love to know your thoughts. So if you leave them in the comments section below and please do like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to reading your comments and I will see you all in the next video. Take care and bye bye for now. Bye.